God giveth eyes to see, ears to hear, a heart that believes, and a mind to understand. Help us to in decrease so that our I am presence can increase. Thank you. So, yeah. Big energies still, yeah, huh? <laughs> um, yeah. I've been out here on the grass for hours and hours and hours. I done a subliminal, a healing subliminal last night. So I woke up this morning dry heaving. <laughs> dry heaving and nauseous. Like I'm spitting all the time. Anyhow, um, I'm getting my healing, y'all. <laughs> Anyhow, every time I get off the ground and try to do anything it hits me again I think we're expecting some class M flares and maybe some X flares too I only check the Schumann for a minute crazy stuff's happening in Italy I haven't got a chance to find out what so anyhow I am going to teach y'all a magic trick totally organic totally organic but um yeah we're all magic. We are all magic. We are all alchemists. We all have unlimited divine potential. And we have to tap into that. And it's actually so simple. Practice does make perfect. But it actually is so simple. Um, anyhow, have you all ever heard of the Philosopher's Stone? There's been a lot of movies made about it. Some call it a myth. Some call it a legend. Just totally real. The Bible talks about it. Um, we are the Philosopher's Stone. The Philosopher's Stone um, was thought... It was like a reddish-brown color. Um, and it was thought to be able to turn any base metal into gold. And gold actually cures any illness and it's also divine it's divine anyhow the point is is we have 100 percent potential to turn lead into gold and what i mean by that is okay so if everything is a vibration and if everything is a frequency every thought action word every tangible object in the 3d everything has its own vibration and its own frequency so let's say self-doubt for instance because apparently self-doubt is something that is being purged and healed and a lot of old stuff is coming to the surface to be dealt with hence all the physical symptoms um some of y'all might be having well actually crown third eye throat is very very active that's where that's where all that stuff come in this morning because <laughs> um, this making videos is hard for me anyhow that's where all um, we're detoxing we're detoxing how we think about ourselves we are detoxing our perception um, we are healing our conditioning our religious conditioning our school conditioning we are we are healing we are healing our perception of ourselves you know, because we are a divine attribute of God, y'all. We are God having a human experience. Yeah, many fingers, same hand. Yeah, we have godly DNA. Anyhow, I'm going to tell y'all a little trick. I got mad this morning. I got triggered. I was, this is right when my nausea come on. And I picked up my phone and a woman had said something about, um, you sure take a, not to me, but it was a meme or something. And it's like, um, what, how did it say it now? You sure take a lot of selfies. That's a lot of selfies for somebody who claims, what was it, who claims to be what? Mentally stable. Mentally stable. Ooh, that triggered me, y'all. <laughs> it really did. I had, I had to, I had to call on my magical self <laughs> and take what I like to call the pause. Um, and I'm going to teach y'all. You know, we've heard our whole lives the cliche that it takes less muscles to smile than it does to frown. But what they don't tell us is that the muscles we use to smile, however few they may be, 
um, or whatever. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. Let me find my communication crystal because I get my this and my Dutch dress and all that stuff. Anyhow, um, thank you, Robert. You always know, man. Anyhow, um, yeah, what they don't tell us is that when we smile, that those same muscles actually send a message to our central nervous system, y'all. Our central nervous system has been being upgraded for a minute, um, and it's heavy stuff. A lot, I'm, I'm sure a lot of y'all know. But um, starts over, goes up to our brain. Serious stuff. Anyhow, the muscles that we use when we smile actually send a message to our central nervous system to produce a biochemical that actually relaxes the flight or fight response. Pretty cool, huh? Huh? <laughs> so this is a very easy way um, to. This is a very easy way to kind of raise your from frustration. Um, cause you, you know, you got to remember the frequency at which you vibrate when you're upset or when you're triggered or when you're angry or when you're hurt or when you're sad is all the way down here, right? Well, if you can, if you can pause when you're triggered and take three deep breaths, drop down into your heart center and take three deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. And dispel, dispel the lower frequency. Fill yourself with higher frequency. Anyhow, and smile. If you drop down into your heart space, you're going to smile, y'all. I mean, it's all about love. Everything in the universe is about love. There is no higher frequency. Well, maybe, if, if we're getting technical, maybe bliss. But it's one and the same. Anyhow, I tried this for a long time. <laughs> I tried this for a long time because... You know, the Bible said that, Yeshua actually said, he said that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Yeah. So, out of the abundance of the heart, you can also smile. Yeah, and it's genuine because I tried to fake it, dude. I tried to fake it till I made it, and everybody around me knew it. I mean, I was fake smiling. Yeah, okay. No, but if you can... Just pause for a minute and drop down to love. And remember that everybody you encounter is a divine reflection of you. And if even for yourself, even for yourself, when those negative thoughts start coming in, because I was so nervous about doing this video, y'all. I mean, like, this is this is some of the most stressful stuff I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I'm, I'm clearing self-esteem, self-image issues, a lot of fear, this and that and whatever. And the longer I sat here, the more I could feel it in my hips and my legs. Um... But anyhow, you know, everything, everything we need is within us. Um, the Holy Spirit resides in us. I mean, all the healing we need, all the comfort we need, all the peace we need, all the grace we need, that is inside us. And I love, I, I don't know what made me pick up the Emerald Tablet this morning, the Emerald Tablet of Hermes. Anyhow, this has um, several different translations in it, but the original... It actually says, I'm going to read just a little bit of it. It says, that which is below, I'm starting with verse 2. It says, that and that which is below corresponds to that which is above. And that which is above corresponds to that which is below to accomplish the miracles of the one thing. Hashtag as above, so below. The Father is the sun, its mother the moon. The wind carries it in its belly, its nurse is the earth. It is the origin of all. The consecration of the universe. Its inherent strength is perfected if it is turned into earth. That's why we call on the lot and ground into the earth. We give all that negative energy to God so that it, and then we bring it back up. We recycle it. We send it out. It rises, that's where the alchemy comes in. It rises from earth to heaven and descends again to earth, thereby combining within itself the powers of both the above and the below. Thus will you obtain the glory of the whole universe. All obscurity will be clear to you. This is the greatest force of all powers because it overcomes. Go on, baby. Got a bug. It rises from earth to heaven and descends again to earth. There, oh, I already told you that part. <laughs> thus, you, thus will you obtain the glory of the whole universe. All obscurity will be clear to you. 
hashtag clarity. This is the greatest force of all powers because it overcomes every subtle thing and penetrates every solid thing. In this way was the universe created. From this come many wonder, wondrous applications because this is the pattern. Anyhow, um, an Arabic version, it's, it's from the German of Ruska. Um, verse 8 says, it rises from earth to heaven so as to draw the lots of the hots to itself and descends to the earth. Thus within it are the forces of the above and the below because the lot of lots within it, within us, Thus does the darkness flee before it. There is, I, don't, I don't know anything, y'all. I don't claim to be anything. I'm a nobody just trying to tell somebody about Yeshua, Je Jesus, because he's teaching me how to save myself. But these little things work. And that's, you know, we are magic beings. We are co-creators in this universe. We are the author of 100% of our story yeah anyway I gotta make it quick I've got to go with mom to take Susie to get groomed but anyhow I hope you all have a beautiful wonderful day um, reach out if you need to don't forget to ground like an mf -er. <laughs> Um hydrate hydrate so it will disperse the energy there's a lot of downloads coming in man and the spirit is speaking to y'all in such subtle ways whether it's through pictures you see in the clouds um whether it is through i've seen owls this morning i picked an owl shirt to wear i mean yeah yeah i know what it's trying to tell me but anyhow if if you ask if you seek clarity and you seek within and you go within and you drop down into your heart space everything you everything you need is there so tap into it anyhow i'm sending y'all mucho love and lots may god bless and increase you